Hey guys, welcome back to Blubber Bros. It's the Crimson Chin here, and recently I've been thinking, we rarely even upload anymore. Maybe once a month or twice a month tops. And I'm thinking, how can we get it so that we can upload at least uh, twice a month, like bare minimum? And I was thinking we could go back to doing Let's Play videos, but uh, then I thought, and... Jared, right, if, 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 if your friends are watching mm. this, ha, I called you out. No, no. actually, this stage sucks. Walter White. It's, it's so Am I too loud? No, it's okay. Yes, you are, actually. Uh, we could also go back to doing those animation podcasts, but, you know, they weren't too great either. So that still leaves the question, how are we going to upload frequently? And I think you guys really need that constant stream of, uh, of autism in your sub box that we provide that, you know, you can't get anywhere else. And quite frankly, once a month isn't enough. But then I remembered. I have literally hundreds of videos I made when I was like 8, 9, 10, uh, just left over for me to, you know, roast. And they're easy, the videos are practically already made for me, and I could just completely destroy them, and no one gets offended, because I'm, I'm essentially roasting myself. I'm roasting my past self. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be tearing apart this poor nine-year-old's videos. This hopefully can be a recurring series if you guys like it, because it's pretty easy to create, and I can make it, uh, pretty frequently. So, let's take a look at one of my first videos about, um, <laughs> barfing, I, th I think? Just play, the, play the clip. Jesus, dude, is that kid, is he okay? Like, I'm genuinely concerned, man. That was like, that was some French Revolution level, like, guillotine level stuff right there, man. But not even that, it was even worse, because you see that? That's not even a clean cut, dude. Like, that still leaves the brain stem intact. That was like, I mean, he's probably going to be like a vegetable for the rest of his life, just living on his, like, basic medulla brain stem, like, necessary actions. Like, that is the- that was worse than, like, the guillotine, okay? And that- I mean, that came from his own mother, too, dude! I made this when I was nine, I was so messed up, oh my god! And we're only- we're only four seconds in, guys. Four seconds. <laughs> okay, okay, continue. Dude, why are these kids so excited for singing? Like, are these boys, like, the, the youth choir at their local church? I'll be like, like, heck you, mother hecker, like, give me that cake. I don't want to sing. Give me that cake right away. Why are you withholding this cake from me, mother hecker? You know, I was a savage at nine. Not gonna lie. Yay! Happy birthday, too bad. <laughs> I mean, dude, again? Like, were these boys really that hungry? That, that, were they really that mad? I mean, I like cake too, but I ain't gonna straight up murder Timmy's mom for cake like 20 seconds sooner. I mean, I know I said I would be rude to her and stuff, and I stand by that, you know, I'm gonna get my cake, but I'm not gonna murder this innocent mother just so I can get this cake like 20 seconds sooner not having to sing that song. I mean, dude, I was, I, I repeat again, I was nine when I made this. This is the darkest stuff. This is some guillotine group murder level stuff right here, dude. Okay, I know this kid just got, like, obliterated or whatever, but I ain't even surprised about that. What I can't get over is why is there only one kid in the class? Like, either it's just one kid that she's teaching, or maybe maybe the rest of the class is off screen, right? And this kid got his entirely own row. And if that's true, right? Like, what did this little boy have to do to get his own row in front of everyone in the class? Like, honestly, what did you, like, put Timmy's dick in, like, a pencil sharpener or something? I mean, like, what does it take to make your very own row so the teacher can keep, like, all of her attention on you? I, I can't get over this, dude. Like, why does this kid have his own row? Uh, okay, that's that's it for this video. Um, but each of the, in each of these series, I want to do two videos. So up next is a a parody of Madonna's Lucky Star, called Klondike Bar. So, the cringe is real, guys. Get prepared, okay? Okay, put on your travel pillows. Make sure you're in a safe space. Get out your uh, get out your vomit buckets in case you have a cringe stroke or something like that, okay? Because, oh boy. <laughs> All right, just me. I, I'm just trying to watch out for you guys, honestly. You must be my conduct bar, conduct bar, cause you taste so good like I knew you would. Okay, before we even go to work on the lyrics, I just want to point out, like, this B, man, like, what is wrong with this B? This B just looks like he's lost 
all will to live. Like, this bee just looks like he found out that his wife is cheating on him with Jeffrey, you know, the top honey earner bee in the hive. And, you know, his wife just doesn't understand that it's hard for a middle-aged bee, and his small pollinating business just can't keep up with Jeffrey, you know, the top honey earner. <laughs> like, why does this bee look like his 16-year-old son Donovan just told him to go kill himself, and that he'll never be as cool as the members of his punk band, uh, Three Knives. <laughs> Three Knives. Bro, why does this bee look like he just found out at the age of 46 that his childhood dog did not in fact run away, and yes, that his father did run him over in the driveway? <laughs> like, what, what is wrong with this bee, man? This was supposed to be a, a Madonna parody, not a suicide, not a cry for help. Mm, okay, can we just analyze that line for a second? First bar I see tonight. Like, who in the name of Heavenly Lord and Savior Jesus Christ wouldn't take the first bar they saw that night. Like, who searches, like, digs through their entire Klondike bar stash and picks out, like, the, the seventh bar they see that night? Like, mm, what, this is such a good bar. This looks so much better than the, the first six bars I saw tonight. I can't wait to eat just this bar tonight. You know, I hate to say this, but I, I do think the Madonna version was better. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, now that we've listened to the whole video, right? Is it just me or am I like sexualizing these hecking Klondike bars? Like it all makes sense now, I mean, first bar I see tonight, it's a metaphor for a one night stand I'm gonna have with that Klondike bar. Can't wait to take a bite, take a bite of that bar's pussy. Wrapping that fit so tight, mm-hmm, I know I like the way that wrapping fit. Like just look at the way I animated me taking a bite of that bar. Dude, even at the age of nine, I was still picking up them bars. Dude, even at the age of nine, I was still getting all of the women. Even if they were Klondike bars, you know, can't can't deny that, but I'm still getting I'm still getting that pussy. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, tell me if you want to see more of this like me roasting my old video stuff. Cause these are actually like really time efficient to make. I can probably make one of these like every week or so at this rate. Um, like, comment, subscribe. If this gets 30 likes, I will literally eat an entire dank meme on camera. Not lying, guys. I will literally eat a dank meme. So, uh, you know. Love you guys.